Okay, so in this video, we're going to be showing you how to buy a domain. Now, the site you want to go to for this is godaddy.com. And what you're going to find is that there's a lot of different sites out there that will sell domains, but GoDaddy is one of the best ones for domain names. They offer other services like hosting and SSL. I don't suggest it for that. I just suggest it for uh, domain names. Now, one of the reasons why GoDaddy is great about this is the process is really simple, which I'll show you in this and future videos. But the other thing is, is when your domain is going to expire, GoDaddy does a great job of basically nagging you to death and sending you emails when you get within 30 days, two weeks, a couple days, when it's actually expiring, etc., which is a big deal, especially if you're buying multiple domains. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to type in a random domain name just to show you what's available. So if we say, for instance, um, Webmaster 999 and click on Search Domain, it'll say, Good news, this domain's available. Now, if you were to pick something that's, what I'll do is I'll just click on Select first so it's added to the cart. But then if you were to pick something that's um, definitely going to be taken, okay, and you hit search again, then what you'll see is it's going to say it's not available, but it's going to give you other suggestions. Okay, So one of the things that you're going to want to do when you buy a domain is you're going to want to make sure that it meets three different criteria. The first is that it's easy to spell. The second is that it's easy to remember. And the third is that it's targeted. In other words, it makes sense, whatever the name of the domain is, that it's uh, within your topic okay now if you can you want to get a dot com if at all possible but if you can't um, but there's a, a great domain that's available as a dot net or something like that you can do that but try to get a dot com but the most important thing is easy to spell easy to remember and targeted so let's go ahead and uh, go and click on continue to cart like we're going to buy the um, first one that we typed in which was webmaster 999 now, with GoDaddy, they're going to try and upsell you on a ton of other different things, like hosting and email and stuff like that. You don't need any of those. Just click on Continue to Cart, and they'll try one more time uh, to get more from you by, right here, by default putting it for five years, which brings your total up to uh, almost uh, a little bit over 40 bucks. But instead, what you can do is click on this drop-down and set it for just one year, and get it for eight dollars and you know thirty seven cents whatever it is so once we do that we click on proceed to checkout and then what's gonna happen is if you already have information it's gonna put it in there otherwise it's gonna ask for your preferred method you simply click on PayPal if that's what you're gonna use and click place your order and then once you do that it's gonna take you to PayPal you would log in as you know your regular PayPal address and then click on purchase and you're done that's it for buying a domain we'll tell you what to do with that domain in the next video